Mangroves are found along the full length of the Queensland coast. The further south you travel, the fewer mangrove species you will find, however. In North Queensland, there are about 30 species of mangroves. In Moreton Bay, there are seven. In Sydney, there are three. And the further south into Victoria and South Australia you travel, you'll only find one mangrove. Tasmania has no mangrove species. This is because mangroves thrive in the tropics of Australia and Asia, where there are high temperatures, high rainfall, and high humidity. Mangroves grow in the estuarine environments. They are not found on the open beaches as there is too much wave and surf action. Identifying just a key few features of a mangrove will allow you to use the dichotomous key to find their identity. In southern Queensland, there is only seven mangroves. Mangroves have alternate or opposite leaves. We'll first look at the ones which have alternate leaves. These are the ones that have stepping on one side on each as you go up the branch. On the key, the first tree to look at that has alternate leaves, we break or look at the sap. If it has white sap coming from the leaf, you will be able to call it a milky mangrove. This one is highly dangerous to humans because the sap will make you temporarily blind. Hence its other common name, a blind eye mangrove. As you look at the leaf and the sap is not there, then you ask the second question. Are there salt crystals present on the top of the leaf surface? If so, you have a river mangrove. This leaf has a spoon shape and the river mangroves are shrubs or smulty trunking trees. They are quite small in comparison to most of the other trees in the forest. This tree grows along the edges of creek banks and rivers, hence its common name, a river mangrove. You will very rarely see it deep in the forest, except for where there is areas of still water. If we now look at the leaves of the trees with or opposite leaf structures, you will see there is a number of different choices. Our first question, is the leaf a grey colour on the underside or an olive green top? This greyish colour leaf is actually the accumulation of salt in the top surface of the leaf. And this one is called a grey mangrove. This mangrove grows from Cape York all the way through to South Australia. It is the most common mangrove in Australia. The next tree to identify, we look at the alternate leaves. They are dark green with an upward appearance and have a fine point at the end. There's little dots on the underside of the leaf, as if someone has used a tiny prick on all of the leaves. We need to look at the roots too. Does it have proper roots? These roots are protruding from the sides of the tree and like arms between the roots and the soil, propping up the tree. In some places in northern Queensland, these are so big that you can actually climb over or under and between these huge root systems within the forest. These prop roots are used to take the oxygen in for the plant, as well as stabilise them in the soft mud and soils. These two features identified allow us to then say that this mangrove is spotted or stilted or red mangroves. It grows the full length of the Queensland coast with a very long seedling like a torpedo which plunges into the mud to hold it firmly as it grows. When using the key we now look at the next tree. Does it have papery bark at the base of the trunk? Does the root have buttress shapes? These are spreading buttresses that help to support the tree with folds of papery bark between them. It is this papery bark that traps the oxygen. At the base of the tree is actually stabilising. This tree requires a closer look. When it's in full sun, the leaves are quite yellow and, and tipped towards the sunshine. But when underneath the cover of another tree, they will be larger, glossier, greener and flatter, open to the sun to take in more of its, of its rays. This one is easily confused. Out in the full sunshine, you get to see why it's called the yellow mangrove. If in southern Queensland you've answered no to all the previous questions, then there is only one option left with alternative leaves. Each leaf is dark green, but it hangs downwards and can be easily confused with the red mangrove, so look closely at the undersurface. By looking here, you will see that there is no dots. The bark is also quite cracked and has fused lumps along its bark. If you peel back a little of the bark, you will see it has an orange colour. In the mud around the floor of this tree, you will find knobbly pieces of this bark coming to the surface again, like knees kicking up through the ground. They help to balance the tree and, like the other root structures, take in its oxygen 
that these roots break through the surface then return to, into the ground. This one is called the orange mangroves.